Hello and welcome back to Paul's Beer Reviews. I hope you're doing well today. Uh, I've got a, uh, a lager to review for you and this is one that is popped up in basically all the supermarkets going. Um, it's a, a product from Mawson Coors um, that they collaborated with originally with uh, La Sagra Brewery who are based in Toledo in Spain. It was originally released in Madrid about 10 years or so ago. But now it's come over here and it's uh, the Madri Exceptional. <clears throat> Madri Exceptional, El Alma de Madrid, it says. Um, this is coming in at 4.6% ABV. I picked up this particular bottle in Sainsbury's, uh, but I have seen it in uh, Morrison's as well. Um, I think Asda stock it too. It's it's popped up everywhere. The last, the last couple of months or so, it seems to be on every single supermarket shelf going. Um, and I say you can get them in packs of four, the little bottles, or you can get these big bombers, 660 mil bottle. Um, I think I paid one pound 80. It might have been two quid. Between 182 quid for the big bottle. Uh, so let's see what it says. I mean, there's a look at the artwork. We got a chap with a rather snazzy looking waistcoat on. And uh, the bottle cap matches his snazzy waistcoat. Very nice. So yeah, Madri, exceptional. Cerveza, exceptional, which it pretty much says on every single Spanish themed lager, I believe. Uh, Madri, exceptional, premium lager, slash Cerveza, premium lager. Brewed and packaged in the UK uh, by Molson Coors Brewing Company. Um, it's got a little bit about uh, La Saga on there as well. Um, any ingredients anywhere? Am I going blind? Wow. Um, there are no ingredients on this that I can see. None whatsoever. None whatsoever. Not a trace. No. Nothing. Just a load about Molson Coors, their address, a little bit about the Sagra. Oh well, never mind. Let's get this lager out of this bottle. No real smoke on the opening to that one. Let's get her into a glass. See what we're dealing with. Give it an aggressive pour. Oh, I've got a bubble. You blinded me. There. Use a nucleated glass for this one. Crystal clear, crazy, crazy carbonation. As you'd expect, it's holding on to a two finger, slightly creamy looking white head. But that is crystal clear, pure gold. Looks the job, doesn't it? It looks the job. Sort of thing you want on a hot summer's day. On the eye, certainly, that's a pretty perfect looking pint of lager. Uh, but yeah, pretty dense head. Glasses uh, making that happen. Very nucleated glasses. Well, let's get me snouting. See if we can get an aroma. Oh, okay. Very light, very citrusy, tatter lemon sweetness. It smells clean. Certainly lemony, certainly sweet. Citrusy, touch of malt. It smells pleasant enough. It smells pleasant enough. There's definitely a citrus sweetness really coming through on that aroma. Um, let's get stuck in. Cheers. Ah. <sighs> Very crisp, very light, very refreshing. What's that finish doing? Not a great deal, to be honest. Ah, 
Good conditioning on it. Looks pretty decent in the glass. It's very crisp. It's very citrusy. It quenches the thirst as soon as it hits your tongue. Um, so in that sense, it's very, very good. There's a touch of citrus. There's a touch of lemon, lime. Quite grassy. Hmm. It's, it's all right. There's even... We just go go out again. Yeah, there's even a slight pepperiness, almost a dryness that threatens to come in. It almost threatens to become a pilsner at the back end, but just stops short of of going dry. It just stops short of becoming a drying finish. Do you know what? That's not bad. That's not bad at all. It's refreshing, it's crisp, it does everything you want a cold lager to do on a warm summer's day. Excuse me. There's no sort of metallic taste I'm getting with it. Nothing that tastes slightly unnatural. Um, there's not much in the way of malt characters on, on this one. It, it's not like a German Hellers. It's, you know, it's not that style. It's very much about the the crispness, the refreshing nature of it. It's, um, yeah, there's very little complexity to it, but it's citrusy, there's a touch of dryness. I keep saying the word dry, it's not drying, it's a touch of spice, it's slightly peppery. Citrusy, refreshing, crisp, light. There, there's a bit of pepperiness now. Just as that carbonation dies down, there's a touch of pepperiness that kind of balances it out and gives you, for the style, it gives you quite a rounded, almost almost complex mass-produced lager because that's what it is. Let's, let's be honest about this beer. It's come out of nowhere and suddenly it's everywhere. Like every supermarket has it. Uh, I say Morrison's have got it. I've even seen it in my... Um, in my local offie, man, the company can get packs of four of it. It's everywhere. Molson Coors have gone all out on this one. They have gone balls out with this beer. Um, 4.6. It's it's going to be... It's going to be competition for Estrella, isn't it? That's another... I believe that's 4.6 as well. And they've even used the same colour scheme. That kind of red and white that Estrella have with the gold star... Um, that's what it's going for. And to be honest, I haven't had Estrella for a while. Um, but this, that is the, the automatic comparison in my mind is where they've gone, what they've gone for, a Spanish lager. Um, but all in all, I think this is pretty good, you know? Refreshing, light, citrusy, really quenches the thirst. And there is, there's just that little touch of pepperiness towards the towards the back end. Very subtle pepperiness that just gives it, it gives it a finish. It gives it a finish. I wouldn't describe it as a hoppy finish. I wouldn't describe it as a bitter finish. It's just a, just a very slight peppery spice to it that just balances it out very nicely. Um, as far as you know, affordable, mass-produced lagers go, that's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. Yeah, I quite like it. It's ice cold. You want it ice cold. Um, yeah, I, I quite like it. I quite like it. I'd drink that again quite happily. Um, I'd have no qualms of buying that again either, to be honest with you. Um, it's pretty decent. Not a lot to be said. It does the job. Madri, exceptional. Um, Sainsbury's, Morrison's. I think most supermarkets are doing it now. Um, from Molson Coors. Uh, I want to give that a 7 out of 10. I think that's absolutely fine. 7 out of 10 from me. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this review. Give it a thumbs up if you have. Until my next one, you take care.